I'm Martha from Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust and today I'm going to show you how to do some wild weaving so you end up making a decoration a bit like this. This activity is a nice way to introduce some colour and texture uh, into your house and for younger children it's a good way to practice fine motor skills. For this activity you need a forked stick I've chosen for my demonstration a rather bigger one than the one I've just shown you so this is quite a large stick I found in my garden so I'm going to cut that down to size in a moment so you need something with like a fork or a Y in it you need some wool or string some scissors and probably some secateurs to cut up your stick so you might be able to snap it then finally you need some green bits that you've collected either in your garden, street or local green space. I've tried to get ones that are quite long and thin, which will be good for weaving in and out of the loom that we're going to make. So first up, we need to prepare the forked stick. So I'm just going to chop this bit up now and reveal the Y or fork shape that I can see in it. We're left with, you can see that there, a nice Y shape. So I've ended up with a loom that is quite large, but of course you can do it any size you like. You can make a bigger one than this or a much smaller one, more like the one I showed you first. The next step, once you've prepared your loom, is to attach the wool or string to the shape. So again you can use a clove hitch or a reef knot, granny knot, to put your string or wool on. And I like to start by going all the way to the bottom and then going upwards. So I'm going to thread my knot on. And then, rather like the stick butterflies, we're going to be weaving the wool under and over. But to make it more secure, we're going to go around um, the stick twice. So we go across and we go over and round again and then over and under and round again and then we just keep doing that all the way up the stick and you can see we're creating a loom which to weave our natural materials. And then when we get to the top, about a centimetre from the end, cut the string all away and then we can knot that onto itself to secure it. So the next stage is then to weave in your stems, your natural materials that you've gathered into the loom. I've chosen some longish straight-ish bits that I found in my garden. So I've got something from the curry plant here, I've got some ivy, some lavender, got some daffodil leaves, any bits you can find really. Obviously you've got to be careful that you don't choose ones that are particularly poisonous or irritant on the skin. So I'll start with a nice long straight bit to begin with. So you want to go in and out of the wool, doesn't matter which way you start, I'm just going to go under the wool there and over, under, over and so on all the way down the length of the loom like so and then pull it down a bit move it along okay maybe I'll put that bit in the middle and take another bit and do it uh, the opposite way you did with the first one so if this one has gone under that first one, I'm going to go over it this time, so that makes it more secure. And then get some ivy and do the same. So there is it nearly complete. All that's left to do if you want is to tidy it up by snipping off the ends. Oh, the bits you've owned to make it nice and tidy. You could have these bits hanging out the top of it, so I'm just going to pull that 
leaf down a bit so it's a bit more in line, snip that bit off. And there you have it. There is your loom complete. So you can fill it up really tight like I have or you can put a few less bits in it. And then you can display it in your house in um, a vase or a pot or in the garden you could hang it up. Really like to see what wild weaving you've done at home. So please share photos of your creations on our social media pages on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Um, and all photos entries received will be entered into our weekly prize draw.